Every so often, the stroke of midnight causes gamers all over the world to gather in droves and inundate their local stores because of a product that's been hyped for as long as anyone can remember. Hello everyone, on behalf of ProjectCUE.com, I'm Justin Joseph, and we hope you enjoy our exclusive video review for Rockstar Games' latest masterpiece, Grand Theft Auto 4. Folks, Liberty City has never felt more alive which makes the franchise's next-gen debut exactly what it needed to be. With that has come some expected upgrades and a few pleasant surprises. Allow me to point those out for you. The first item of discussion here is the combat system. GTA 4's lead protagonist, Nico, is now capable of walking, jogging, and running greater distances, in addition to climbing ledges and walls that he can jump to, which is especially useful when they are chasing after enemies or running from the law. But what we like the most are the new auto-targeting auto and cover systems. While auto-targeting's situational priority doesn't always cooperate, being able to hide behind just about anything in the game, locking onto a threat, and pinpointing their head results in satisfaction with every kill you score. And the same goes for blind fire, especially whenever you have an RPG equipped. However, I'm not so much of a fan of free aiming, while useful in some instances, it just feels awkward to hold the left trigger pulled halfway while still moving, aiming, and firing. I just thought it could have been implemented a bit more effectively. What also isn't so hot are the driving mechanics, which I've never really been a fan of in this series since it went 3D. Now I understand that GTA isn't a racing IP, but when 75% of the game's vehicles handle like absolute crap, which results in a lot of missed turns or unintentional crashes, you're likely to be frustrated for the first several hours. Thankfully, piloting a helicopter is one heck of a trip that will never grow old, so that sort of makes up for it. But when you aren't running from something, killing hordes of criminals, or driving like most Americans actually do, you're forging or disintegrating relationships with numerous characters in Grand Theft Auto 4, easily the game's most memorable trait. I mean seriously, the cookie cutter plot is taken up a notch or two just because of this, so just wait until you're attached to at least one of those people. It makes some of the de decisions you're forced to make exceedingly difficult. But with those very characters, or even by your lonesome, you can enjoy several mini activities hosted by various locations in Liberty City. You can enjoy things like billiards, which is pool, or browsing the internet, or throwing some darts, eating out at a fast food restaurant or some fancy schmancy place, and just so much more. It really makes you feel that much more connected to the Metro's everyday happenings, and it's also part of what makes the experience so personal. If that weren't enough, it all comes together wonderfully because of the technical accomplishments that GTA 4 has made. Every character, vehicle, and building looks absolutely awesome in high definition and is extensively detailed. The motion capture that highlights all the action in every cutscene makes the game more convincing to the human eye. The city is also modeled after New York, with Broker Bridge inspired by Brooklyn Bridge, the Statue of Happiness reflective of our gift from the French, and Star Junction being an awesome rockstar interpretation of Times Square. Even weather plays an intriguing role, whether it's rain or shine, clear or foggy. Despite some shortcomings and glitches here and there, Liberty is a marvel all around and there's simply no denying that. That also very much applies to the audio production that brings the chaotic and comedic atmosphere to life. The radio stations featured emphasize just about every music genre, even Russian pop, but thankfully not polka. The effects, courtesy of gunfire, explosions, car engines, and just the general city activity, merely complement the entire experience. Topping it all off is the random banter of Liberty City's inhabitants, in addition to the plot-relevant interactions and voiceovers of the core characters. Some of the females can be a bit annoying, but it's still extremely well done overall. Just wait until you see well-known comedians Ricky Gervais and Cat Williams perform multiple times at the Split Sides Comedy Club. It's really funny stuff. Finally, a first for this series is the online multiplayer that supports up to 16 players on both Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. And it gives me great pleasure to testify that it's great fun and works seamlessly. I mean, I can only say that about my live experience since I own the 360 version, 
but I see no reason why the same can't apply to the PS3 title. Seriously, along with the standard deathmatch modes, there are numerous others inspired by GTA's usual gameplay and personality. And if you have up to seven friends that would like to tag along, form a party and have at it. You just won't be disappointed. It's plain fun. And getting access to the servers is taken care of by your in-game cell phone, and it's very interesting to hear everyone demand that the host make changes to the session setup. Okay, so before revealing our final score and such, I'd also like to touch base on the swag that comes with the special edition released for both platforms, which I picked up myself. You get a Rockstar branded safety deposit box with keys, a Rockstar keychain, a full game soundtrack, a 68 page art book, a mini Rockstar devil bag with orange lining, and a code for the game's picture pack. For $89.99, you really couldn't ask for more especially considering what most other special or collector's editions offer. Thus brings me to the final few seconds of this review, and the fact that Project CUE awards Grand Theft Auto 4 a 9.8 out of 10, which means we obviously don't think the game is perfect, but it's not like it matters either way, since millions will still end up playing this game. For more information, please view our site's review, and as always, stick with us for your latest online gaming resources. Thank you for your time, everyone, and we'll be back soon.